I'm really nervous going into our last rehearsal for the Astra Awards. Abby hasn't seen the piece yet, and I don't know if this is what she's looking for. Hi, Ab. Hi, baby. How are you? Wait, I want to. How are you doing? Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, I'm OK. You oh, made it. Yeah. How are you doing? She's an idiot. Seriously. You're in Australia. You're meeting people from a TV network, and you show up in curlers. You look like an idiot. She literally is wearing the same clothes she was wearing. I'm not going to She put a freaking bracelet on and six curlers in her hair. <laughs> this is going to be the first time I actually see the kids dancing. And they need to represent the Abby Lee Dance Company to the best of their ability, to the best of my ability. So I want to make sure that everything is perfect. And if I need to change things, it's now or never. That has to roll right through. From where I was sitting, watching the girls, I thought they looked amazing. I don't know what Abby's gonna think, but we're down to the wire. We don't have time for changes. This has to be good enough for Abby. Do uh, you think JoJo's late, like, three times, or no? Yeah, she was told that twice yesterday already. OK. You're, you're late. Maddie, your corrections. When you're on this piece up here, you really need to look backwards over your shoulder and take the crown with you to the switch jeté. Nia, twice, twice. You're rolling down to the floor on one section. You're completely flexing your foot. Why does she have to do this? And it was fabulous. It's not just important that we do well on this Australia trip. It's vital. We have to start this trip out right. The Australian tour is the only pit stop we have before we hit LA. I want this to be the best performance ever. They have to knock one out of the park here. Or let's say, win an Astra with this performance. Maddie, that's going to be a really big shot right there. So you need to, you need to swallow and not break. You have to be perfect. All right, let's go. The kids looked amazing on stage, but unfortunately, Maddie fell out of her turns. Maddie, don't be sad. Why are you oh, sad, no, honey? No. You were amazing. You're always amazing. We're here because of you, honey. Yep, you're amazing. We wouldn't be here. No need to be sad. She's not. She's fine. OK. She's fine. But she's not fine, yeah, Melissa. She's fine. She told me she doesn't want to talk about it. Maddie's a perfectionist. She always tries to put on a brave face, but it just got to her. Jill got to her, of course. Jill always tells me to be quiet and not say anything when Kendall messes up, so she should shut her face. Her turn wasn't perfect, so she was upset. So with and herself. She's upset with herself. <laughs> it's very clear that Maddie is upset. But if any other child would allow themselves to shed a tear, Abby would annihilate. And for Abby to excuse and not have the same standards, it's confusing for all, and it's also not fair. OK, just Maddie, please. Just please, I want to open this. Just remember that with stardom, with fame, with recognizability, comes responsibility and pressure and being perfect all the time. This is a turn that Maddie has been doing forever. She's not improving because Abby's not correcting her or giving her classes. She's plateauing. <laughs> but you never know when your star's going to end. You got to ride the wave. 